Brian. What is going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shue filling in for Tom O'Brien. Of course, this is the Tom O'Brien Show. He'll be back Monday. Well, first things first, I want to talk about. We had another one of the live trading Fridays this morning, 9 a.m. to noon, uh, and it was awesome. We looked at a bunch of things, natural gas, silver, the Dow, gold, all of that, and uh, big ones for the day were, uh, were, were the Dow shorts. And uh, take a look right now at the YM. You know, so we opened up about 9.30, and you can kind of see how that worked out. Right, it was uh, it was a pretty good time. Again, I want to say if if you haven't joined it or tried it yet, I really recommend it. We're still doing the whole thing. Tommy said he wanted you guys to have it. I said no, don't give it to him. And he said no, give them fifty dollars off for as long as they subscribe. Still, so you use Larry Live at checkout, and uh, you're good to go. We had a great time today, seriously, and it's a phenomenal turnout every time. Um, so, anyways, let's take a look at what we're doing in the market right now. Kind of a not a stellar day or anything. It's kind of slow, not a lot happening. Uh, trading at 52.44 right now in the E-mini. Uh, Russell Futures off about 0.89% currently. NQs sideways still. Dow Futures up about 0.23% as it stands now. Gold uh, waking up a little bit today, up about 1.4%. Uh, trading at 2,373. Uh, crude oil, we had a little bit of a pop-up. And then come right back down. We're hanging around that 78 34 level. Uh, Tesla continues to be off. <laughs> Trading at 168.68. How much lower can she go? Uh, we're down 1.9%. So one of the big news is excuse me, news is one, one of the big pieces of news today. Uh, obviously, Elon Musk had been firing a bunch of people from Tesla, right? They're kind of trimming down the amount of workers they have. Uh, there are a few kind of phases of that, and the most recent one was the supercharger business, right? And what was so Interesting about that is that Tesla makes these superchargers. They put them around everywhere. But the Biden administration had said, this is going to be the standard for all EVs. You're going to use these Tesla, these Tesla chargers. And this is obviously, I mean, you think about that being built out over the coming decade, uh, was huge for Tesla. And so this happened and basically said, we're, we're not pursuing it anymore. And then Musk went online today, like a few hours ago on Twitter or X, and said, actually, no, we're, we're going to expand it after they had just gotten rid of 500 people who were running that business. So he said Tesla will spend well over $500 million on growing its network this year. And this is new things, not just you know, developing or maintaining what they have currently, but spending this money on, on expansion. Uh, obviously, like we were saying a few days ago, they fired everyone. Trying to see if there's any other bit of information. Not really. He just releases these things on Twitter, and it's kind of crazy. But the, the takeaway is, is they are investing more money, and it is uh, for growth, right? It's not just for maintaining the structure. So we'll see what happens, or excuse me, the infrastructure. We'll see what happens with Tesla going forward. Uh, still in a really rocky situation. I had watched his interview. This is like a few months ago it was released, but I just watched it recently. His interview with Don Lemon, and... Uh, you know, he, he's a guy, Musk is a guy who just speaks his mind, whether that's good or bad for publicity or business. Um, and so he was saying some things which I thought were interesting, and then some things it's like, man, that is that is a rough thing to say to millions of people, especially potential investors and, you know, institutional investors as well, who tend to be more sensitive on things like that. The dollar uh, trading at 105.29 currently, uh, Google off slightly, Meta sideways, Disney still at that 105.70. Six level. Okay, big news again is with the Fed, right? Uh, give me one second here. There's been discussion now with, with the Fed that we're not perhaps going to have any rate cuts going forward in 2024 at least, right? And uh, inflation still anticipated to be a little bit hot. Um, you did have a higher unemployment number last month, I believe. Um, but, you know, is that transient, right? It's, it's hard to kind of say. I don't, I think maybe this level of inaction, we've had an up week in the market. I, I think this kind of level of inaction today on this news, one, first I want to say the, the fact that it's not selling off more, I would suppose. I mean, you, I, you kind of see the sell off here a little bit, right? But the fact that it's not 
more damaging is kind of indicative that the people who are investing, right, are a, a little bit more optimistic going forward, right? Even in the event where you have uh, Fed members, you know, Lori Logan, um, especially saying it's just maybe a little bit too early to start cutting rates. And then you had other people in the Fed saying that 2024 might not even happen. And again, one of the things that I've been talking about, covered a little bit on our TikTok page as well, is, you know, some of these run-ups were, I mean, a lot of this run-up was kind of based on the concept that rates were going to come back down sooner or later, right? And, and that was going to be in 2024. And it's seeing that we, we might not get that. Uh, so it's kind of hard to say that happened a little bit earlier this morning. Of course, we were uh, talking about, excuse me, we were running the, the live trading Friday earlier. So it's hard to get, kind of cover that while we had that going on. Uh, let's see here. TSMC, of course, uh, actually did quite well today. If I could just pull it up. So April was really good, continue to show massive demand for these AI chips, which is what we were talking about um, yesterday. Give me one second to pull up my numbers on it. All right. So in April, so this is for TSMC, of course, we're up 4.2% today. You had ARM come down a little bit yesterday. Uh, obviously not the exact same um, concepts, but still in the same uh, industry. Uh, so Taiwan Semiconductor saw uh, April sales jump 60%, which is pretty awesome. Sustained artificial intelligence demand is still there. Uh, so after sales, the revenue growth increased uh, by 34.3%. That was in March. Global smartphone industry returned to growth over the first three months of the year, including the highly competitive Chinese market, uh, which may drive orders for the TSMC's traditional mainstay of mobile chips which is interesting seeing that they weren't hit as hard with ARM as that, but of course they do some different things as well. Uh, TSMC weathered a year of muted demand for personal electronics. The AI boost is pairing with the rising prospects for consumer demand massive. The company shared, uh, shares soared to an all-time high in April. And uh, yeah, things are looking okay for TSMC as it stands out. Let me see what ARM is at currently. Obviously it really sold off, yeah, so I mean, that was a buy opportunity yesterday, let's be real. That, if you got in that, awesome for you. Uh, folks, stay tuned, we'll be right back.